welcome to yet another YouTube video. Today we are diving into Sane.ai, which is another one of these AI applications. And I've been reviewing and looking at a few of them lately. Things like MeBot, I've talked about Mem, and I have discussed in the past whether or not these applications do have any future when all applications will have AI chats, but more on that later. Today we are going to take a look at the AI application, AI chatbot application. So basically the way this works is that it has a chat interface, a way to take notes, and then like talk to your notes later. That's basically the overall feel and look of the application and the interface. Uh, but we will jump into the applications. But before we do that, let's quickly take a look at the pricing. So this application uh, sort of markets itself as an AI friendly or ADHD friendly AI note taking app, which is something I do like. It has been featured on Product Hunt as product of the day and as product of the week second in productivity. So pricing wise, it has a free plan, but the free plan limits you a lot with only 100 notes, 50 chat messages. I think I would write 100 notes in a week or so, uh, but it has um, 100 notes, 50 chat messages, PDF uh, files, one megabyte per file, a Chrome extension, external AI and free trial bonus. 50 chat plus 5 PDF, 10 megabytes. So the second plan is the starter plan, and this gives you 30 uh, chat messages a day, 1000 notes. Both of these are, st it is still not enough in my opinion. You get 100 PDFs, which isn't too bad, 5 megabytes per file. Uh, you get a Chrome extension, and you also get external AI. Uh, AI's GPT Cloud and Gemini, and this costs you seven eighty nine if billed, uh, if billed yearly. While the monthly actually will set you back eleven eighty nine. The standard plan, which costs you nineteen eighty nine, gives you a hundred messages a day, uh, and a hundred thousand notes. I would say that this is quite good. It is hard to use up a hundred uh, chat messages a day, but I still think that if I am going to pay uh, $20 for something, I would want to have unlimited use of it, or at least close to unlimited when it comes to the chat messages. That is just something I uh, think personally. Uh, well, uh, if you pay yearly, it will set you back fifteen eighty nine, and this is with an early user discount. So I'm guessing that their pricing will end up being fifteen dollars uh, more or close to sixteen on the monthly plan and close to eleven on the uh, yearly plan. So it isn't cheap, but I would say it compares to a lot of the other uh, chatbot applications I have seen on the market. As I said, you have a chat interface right here, which you can talk to. You have a search, you have an inbox, you have a timeline view as well. Let's look at this. So the timeline view here is basically a daily note, but I like that they have implemented a daily note into uh, the application, a lot of these AI applications, maybe except from Mem, uh, do not have daily notes. And I actually like having daily notes. It is a really easy way for you to either journal or to do bullet journaling or just use as an inbox. And you can also add tags to these uh to these daily notes as well, which is another thing I do like a lot. So daily notes is something I'm a big fan of. And the reason for why I am highlighting this is because this is something a lot of these AI uh, chat applications do not actually have. You can also customize the AI. So when you start up the application, you actually uh, get a few questions uh, and it will help 
uh, you customize the AI and how the AI answers to you. Uh, so that is also something to, to just keep in mind that you have the ability to customize the responses here a little bit. Uh, and the AI um, chat or the AI assistant is called Sky. Uh, and here you can write notes, which this uses to give you answers, or you can actually uh, use this to just uh, talk to GPT-40 or uh, Claude 3.5 and a lot of the other like AI um, models instead of just using your own notes so um, it has the ability to access to access uh, gpt and the other ai models right from within the application uh, you can turn on and off something called deep thinking which gives you more thorough responses at a slightly slower speed uh, so this is something I haven't tested out how much difference it makes, but I'm guessing that it makes a little bit of a difference. Another thing I do like is that they also have an inbox here. So let me just go ahead and take a look at this. Uh, so this is an, um, a note I just got when I opened the app and I can press mark as red and it will remove it from my inbox. So it both has a timeline and an inbox as well. Um, let's now try and add a note. So we will call this test note. Uh, and let's first look at the backslash command. So I'm guessing that all of these actually work with markdown as well. Um, so let's just try to test that out and it does it works with markdown that is something i would expect in an application like this you actually have the ability to link to other pages as well you can do tasks here as well so you could have a task list inside of here um, so uh, this isn't actually the uh, note interface isn't the worst i've seen uh, so i am I'm not thinking that the note interface compared again to a lot of these other AI applications, AI chatbot applications, I don't think that the user uh, interface inside of the note taking is too bad. You have show info here, uh, you can open in full page. So that is also uh, a good thing. It is a little slow, uh, but um, you can actually open this in a more focused way and I can close the sidebar here. So this is actually quite good. I can add tags here or I can autofill the tags. So this is something to keep in mind with these uh, AI note taking apps that organize for you is that they will actually do the organization and do quite a good job at it uh, when you autofill these. So just to uh, test with the starter note, I can press autofill right here and it will do an okay job, but you will probably have to go in there and you will have to um, edit it a little bit or add new tags. So it tags it with social media marketing, which makes sense a welcome because it is a welcome message and a Sanner AI. Uh, so all of these make sense, but I would probably add a few more in here. So it does an okay job at organizing, but it do not, uh, it does not actually remove the need of totally uh, organizing everything. So this is a social media marketing plan for Q two let's test this out uh with the uh, ask ai so let's just ask it so let's try what is the social media marketing plan it isn't the best question uh but i i struggle a bit when i'm asking uh, these uh applications questions but it actually finds the right thing and it also shows me the note uh Based on the information provided in the context, it gives me a summary of the marketing plan for Q2 2024. And I can choose to take a look at this in a graph or in a list. So the way this would work is that 
uh, if you ask it a question and it has a bunch of notes you could actually choose to sh uh, see all of the relevant notes as a graph view which is another thing that many applications uh, do not have many of these ai applications do not have so that is also something i do like about this and the ai does an okay job it does a good job and it is similar to as i said every other like uh, chatbot application it has an importing feature as well so you can import markdown obsidian word apple notes evernote notion html pdf so you can actually import things into here that is a quick overview of the application my thoughts is that it is a good application i like the interface uh, but i have a problem with all of these ai chat uh, applications and that's whether or not they will have a future when every single application will have a chatbot and a self-organizing ai every note-taking app will at some point have all of that so that is just something i'm keeping in the back of my mind when i'm testing out these applications uh, will these uh, live on when we have things like microsoft copilot and uh, Google's Gemini will work inside of the Google ecosystem and the Google workspaces. Evernote will probably add something as well. Will these uh, applications be able to compete when like better note takers with better note taking interfaces uh, have the same abilities? AI will become a part of our daily lives. It won't be a cool feature in the future it will just be something we expect inside of every single uh, application but apart from like this whole idea of chat bot applications which i have a little bit of a problem with i think that it is a good uh, application i think that the interface feels really good i like that it is really easy to learn really easy to use i like the self-organizing um and just in general i think that it is a good application but as i said i am struggling to see the future for a lot of these uh, note-taking applications with ai with only ai being the selling point that was it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it comment down below if you have any questions and i hope to see you again quite soon